What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Write and Eat. I am your host, Chef Natalie, and every single Wednesday, I'll be bringing you new plant-based recipes outside of my van, along with some tips and tricks, so make sure you stick around. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. Comment, leave me a virtual hug. It really helps out. I appreciate you. Today, I am super excited. We're gonna do something pretty fun. It's quirky like myself, so I have to show you. Today, we're gonna be doing vegan corn dogs. And no, I'm not gonna slap a Smart Life vegan dog on a stick. I'm gonna make them homemade. I am making them things out of carrots. Abby, drop that sound effect. Okay. What? If you don't know about carrot dogs, you need to try these babes, okay? You think that you like hot dogs, Wait till you try one of these, okay? They are not made out of pig fingernails and earlobes. This is a freaking carrot that I'm gonna make taste just like a hot dog. It will blow your mind. It is way healthier until I fry that in corn batter, but it's okay. We are gonna do that and, and I'm not done, okay? I'm not doing a basic B corn dog batter, everything carrot today. So I am doing a carrot cake corn dog batter for our carrot dogs with a glazed carrot mustard. Let me go ahead and walk on out. You guys, I'll see you later, okay? You can have your moment of silence. So to get started, I'm gonna take a medium to large size carrot. You wanna make sure all the carrots are about the same size and the same girth. <laughs> make sure they're around the same, okay? You guys, stop it. I'm gonna cut the butt off. And I'm gonna cut <laughs> off the tip. And then you can reference the same one. Now this one's a little bit smaller, but you just want them relatively the same size. I am never gonna waste my scraps. Remember, veg stock for another date, okay? I'm always making veg stock. I already have ours for today, but this will go for the next time. There will be a link in the description if you're interested in making a basic veg stock. I'm pretty sure I talk about veg stock almost every freaking episode. Now we're going to peel our carrots. Now, again, if you got a skinnier one, you just peel it a little less. These fatter ones, I can just take off a little more. And then if you want to be extra, because I want to be extra, you can go back and take the edges and just round them like you, like a hot dog actually is. Now, that's not necessary. I mean, I just think it looks cute. Look at that. Look at that. We already have a freaking hot dog, dude. <laughs> there you have it. That's what you're looking for. Okay, I'm probably not going to win an award for the best carrot dog shaper, but it's about where you want them. These need to boil. Place them so you don't burn yourself, okay? It's not worth it, people. Those are gonna boil for eight to 10 minutes. I'm gonna start with eight minutes just to make sure. You do not wanna overcook them. You don't want them too tender. You want them just fork tender. So we'll start with eight and see where we're at. We have to talk about the IPA of the week. So today I have Upper Hand IPA from Upper Hand Brewing in Escanaba, Michigan. Let's give it a try. Oh, yeah, baby. Ooh, that one's good. That's good. I like it. We're going to make our marinade for the carrot dogs. Got my dry spices here. So we're going to dump those in. Paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of black pepper, liquid aminos. You can also use tamari, the gluten-free soy. This is what's really going to give you that flavor. Next, we're going to do some Bragg's apple cider. Add that Dijon mustard to that. I'm going to add some maple syrup. You want a little bit of sweet to combat that uh, vinegary taste. The most important ingredient in this carrot dog is our liquid smoke. That is what's going to give you that hot dog smoky goodness. Last but not least, some veg stock that I made earlier. This looks crazy. I had some purple cabbage scraps in there. That's why it's a weird color, but it tastes boo. We're gonna whisk that up. Whisk. Our timer went off, so let's check this. Oh yeah, look at that, see? It's a, it's, I got a little give. I wanna go a little bit longer. So now that our carrot dogs are boiled and fork tender, I'm gonna put them in the marinade. Now, I do not have a shallow Pyrex or pan that's flat that I can put them in where they will uniformly coat in the marinade. So I've got to improvise. So I have these two glasses to work with. So that's how I'm going to do it. I live in a van. I just, it's just what I have. Okay. I am putting the marinade directly on the hot carrots. That way they're just gonna soak up that marinade even better. It's going to go in the fridge. So at least four hours, but you can go overnight. The longer you do it, the more the flavor is gonna seep into that hot dog. So the longer the better. We're gonna let these things marinate in the fridge and we're gonna have some fun with our dogs. We are at this beautiful state park in Lake Erie. So we'll catch up with you later. Stay tuned. 
What's up? We're back. We are at our new campsite at a casino parking lot. Check this view out. This is the perks of being in these kind of situations. We are actually plugged in right now, so we have full power to our RV. It is a score in this humongous parking lot, so I cannot complain. So we're gonna get back to our corn dogs. We have to make our batter now. So far we have AP flour. I'm going to add to that my dry carrot cake spices, ground allspice, some ground nutmeg, some ground cinnamon. I'm gonna add some baking powder. I'm also putting a little bit of salt in here, just a little bit, because salt's gonna help bring out the spice and the sweetness. So to that, I'm going to now add our sugar. I'm using organic sugar. This is not your regular corn dog batter. This is a carrot cake corn dog batter. So it's gonna be a little bit sweeter. That's the point. To that, we're adding our cornmeal. You can't have a corn dog without cornmeal. We are going to mix our dry just so they're nice and incorporated. We are gonna add our wet. So I consider the grated carrot that we're gonna use in our carrot cake wet because it does hold some moisture. You gotta have carrot in the carrot cake, okay? Now we're gonna add our non-dairy milk. I am using cashew milk. You absolutely can use whatever you want. I think cashew milk has a little bit more of a creamy texture makes me feel better. Mix that together till it gets boo. This is about what you're looking for. Pancake batter-esque. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit for a little bit and get boo. Now we have our oil getting hot for frying our corn dogs. I'm using a cast iron. If you have a deep fryer, absolutely use that or a deeper pan with a heavy bottom, please use that. But I have a cast iron. Everyone knows that's what I work with. I have two of them, that's all I have. Canola or vegetable oil. You do not wanna use a low smoke point oil, so olive oil, absolutely not. Meanwhile, we are going to take our corn dogs out of the marinade. You wanna pat them dry. Got a few like dangler doodles. Come on, you can't tell me that doesn't look like a hot dog already. Y'all, that's a hot dog. Come on, right? Shh. So we're gonna take our carrot dog and we're gonna sear them. That's when you know they're good and done because this thing is just going in sweet. So you wanna take the stick and just go about three fourths of the way down. So about here. Pro tip, it's not a big one today, but you want to, you want to go slow while you insert into the carrot dog because it can easily split out the side. So now that we have all of our carrot dogs skewered, so we're gonna dredge it in a little bit of AP flour to make sure that batter sticks. Now that our carrot dogs are dredged, I do wanna make one point. We made the sauce ahead of time. I'm not gonna show you how I made it. Literally all I did was take one carrot that was peeled, cut up, and I simmered it with some of that leftover marinade that we had until it got tender. And then I put it in a blender with some maple syrup and Dijon mustard and literally that's our sauce, okay? So that's your carrot mustard. The link will be in the description, okay? We didn't need to show all of that, but this thing is amazing. That's your dipping sauce. We're gonna put that to the side. So I also wanna talk about our marinade. Obviously, this is quite a lot of marinade. Abby and I are gonna use this later. So you can have this recipe if you're only making four to six corn dogs. You'll have plenty, but you can also reduce this and make a barbecue sauce. You could add this to a dressing. You could, make, you could put it in a soup and add some flavor. Um, whatever you need to do, so don't waste this. We're ready to make our carrot corn dog. So I put our batter in a tall glass. You wanna have a tall glass because you need to dip the carrot dogs, okay? So our oil is about 350, 360. I am a wizard, so I'm, I just know it's ready. I'm going to dip it into the cup. This is absolutely normal looking. And I'm just going to spread it around so we get that nice batter all over it. Boom. And so I'm gonna bring it over and you just want to, twisting it to make sure there's no excess. Little drip, boom, <laughs> this is insane. And then, there we go. Because I don't have a deep fryer, it's shallow. I need to put the whole thing in there. That's perfectly fine. Now these are gonna go about three to five minutes. Again, your carrot dog is already cooked. So you're just browning that batter around it. So there you have it. We have carrot corn dogs with a carrot cake batter and glazed carrot mustard. You have to try these. Before you knock it, go to the link in the description and make these, okay? We have over 8,000 taste buds in our tongue. You are meant to have all the flavors at one time, okay? Sour, sweet, bitter, spicy, umami. They are here. Check it out, you guys. I'm not here to be basic. I'm weird. These are weird, but they're amazing. And now I'm gonna show you this parking lot pimping we're doing at this casino. Right now we have an amazing sunset to watch, so come check this out with me. Go! So we live in Van 
life, we don't ever discriminate, okay? We came from the West, we're in the East right now, and we are literally in a parking lot at a casino, but sometimes it doesn't matter. You find the beauty in what you have, and we're happy right now. We're plugged in, we have power, we have this beautiful freaking sunset right now, and we're about to eat these magnificent corn dogs. So if you wanna try this recipe, please check out the link in the description. Like and subscribe. I will keep doing these every Wednesday. Y'all, I wish, I wish we were in this parking lot with us. I'm gonna say it every week. Got some freaking corn dog. Abby, drop that, drop that, uh, shit. What is it? Oh, yeah. Abby, drop that sound effect. <laughs> Come on. It has fingertips, too. <laughs> You're not helping me today, little hand. What happened to you? I thought we were friends. Get it. <laughs> Fix it. Thank you. Y'all, she's she's pissed. Get on the right side. I'm left-handed. You gotta work around me, okay? We gotta do the dance, okay? What do you want me to do? Here, no, no, go back. Screw this. This whole video is. Am I saying? A little bit sensual. Uh, what's the other word? Uh, Provocative. No, when you're talking about sex, cathartic. Not cathartic. Flatulent? What's the word, baby? You know what I'm talking about. The, like, okay, fine. That is so suggestive. This whole video is suggestive. We are lesbians. Let's be honest. This is interesting. Oh God. You gotta be very careful when you probe it. When you put the stick in. Oh my God, either way. Why do we make videos like this? People are gonna stop watching. It's just like, does YouTube do boomerang for a thumbnail? So then I could just be like this. I could just be like, that's a boomerang, hold on, ready? And then and that becomes the clickbait. <laughs> Yo, that's a great idea. I'm, I'm gonna reach out to YouTube, okay? We're already on the radar because you're sticking your corn dog down and up. Abby, I can't do this. Okay. okay. You want to make sure you have a tall glass because you're going to f***ing dip that doodle bug. Okay. That's a shaft. Like, I'm trying to be wholesome, and that is not... That's... <laughs> this is, like, not okay. This is so phallic. It, uh, it, uh, turns to the left. Baby, move. Oh, my God. We... We literally cannot air this one. We can't air it. We can't. You guys, I'm just trying to make you corn dogs first. God, I'm just trying to make you some dope vegan corn dogs with some little twist on it. Literally a twist, okay? That's. <laughs> They're gonna be so good, okay? Please just be adult about this. Be adult. I'm being an adult. I'm 34. I'm being an adult about my dope left curb corn dog. They're vegan. They're vegan. There ain't no meat in that vegan dog. That's a carrot on a curb. And you have it. Little pat dry. And you've got corn dogs, baby. Vegan. <laughs> Alright, put them on a freaking plate. What are we doing? We're gonna get arrested.